All right. Hi, Liz. How are you? I'm doing great, Janelle. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you so much for taking the time today to talk to us on the Valley. I'm so excited to talk to you about the uh, um, the annual Best of Awards dinner that's coming up soon. That's going to be an exciting event. Very exciting event. Well, it's a pleasure to be here talking with you and being able to share about the event. So, hey. Yeah, well, first, what I want to talk to, uh, you know, I want to know more about you because you're the president and CEO, you're, you know, the leader of our ship and, you know, and you've been doing it for how many years now have you been CEO? I'm in my third year as president and CEO. Yeah. And how does that feel? <laughs> it feels amazing and funny all at the same time. Yeah. I ended up here from a roundabout of of things and jobs and I love this job and I'm excited to be part of the chamber and continue what we do. You know what I love about you is that you um, and your husband, you know, also have a small business and you've also, you know, you, you know, perform weddings, you marry people, you have an event coordinating company as well. So you're a person of service who likes to help people create joy um, and, and I think that's such a great, um, aspect that you brought to the table as the CEO, because this is just one big event that you're coordinating every day, every single day. It's a huge event and it's awesome <laughs> with lots of benefits, <laughs> lots of benefits, lots of people involved. And, uh, that's what makes me happy. Yeah. And a lot of a reward. Yeah. So tell us, okay. So the annual dinner is coming up. It's the best of, um, yeah. uh, it's been going on for a long time. And, uh, so I'd love for you to tell us how long the awards dinner has been going on and, uh, and what is it? And, you know, if you could just highlight, you know, if I were brand new to the chamber, how would you explain it to me? Okay, great. Uh, so you, the event began several years ago. Um, don't have an exact number, but it was a part. It's a partnership with the National Telegraph, and we um, decided to put together the best of our region. And it began when we were just the Sohegan Valley Chamber, um, and Merrimack had their own awards, the Merrimack Chamber, and now we've banded together to make a humongous event, and it began as a way to highlight the businesses in the region with a um, an awards, a way to recognize, get their fans, followers, clients, customers, patients, to recognize all the great work that all of these businesses and organizations do in the community. Mm. And so how would one go about getting nominated? Like what's some of the criteria to be uh, even recognized as one of those businesses and to be up for the, you know, winning the award? Right. Well, that's super easy. All you have to do is either be a member of our chamber, the Greater Merrimack Sauhegan Valley Chamber of Commerce, or have a business within our, the region of our 12 towns. We serve um, 12 towns, um, I could name them, but we'll stop there. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll let this part out. Um, then we, you also could be a member of the region that the Telegraph and their subsidiaries serve. I see. So the Bedford Journal, the Merrimack Journal, the Hollis Brookline Journal. Um, some of those are, are already in our region, but the greater Nashua area is encompassed as well in in the awards possibilities. So this really, um, it, it has uh, um, like great advertising because it's pretty much, you know, the majority of Southern New Hampshire is what you're saying. It's definitely the central, our central Southern New Hampshire area is served by this contest. And the easiest way to be nominated is it's a write-in ballot. So folks share the ballots with their, um, on their social media pages or, you know, with their clients, et cetera, and asked to be written in, right, in the name of the business and the name of the town the business or organization is located in, that puts you in the ballot. And um, the more write-ins, of course, that you have, the more votes you have, and then the votes are tallied when the contest uh, ballot, you know, voting deadline ends, 
And then we verify the businesses by making sure they fit those three criteria. They're either a member of the chamber in our region or in the telegraph region. And then we have our top uh, three, the winner and the two finalists are um, who are represented in, and awarded. It's nice that you acknowledge not just the number one, but also like the top three that's important, you know, because uh, one of the things that I like about the chamber is, you know, the, the um, it's so necessary to support not just one business, but multiple in each industry right. because, you know, uh, it, it helps support the whole community. And so, and also it, I don't know, it just makes people feel nice that they too are recognized, even if they're not number one, uh, you know, but, yeah. and then they can celebrate each other and kind of boost each other up, you know, and congratulate one another at the event itself. So, so when we're at the event, like, so what does it entail? Like, you know, is it dinner or, you know, tell me about it. So it's a wonderful evening celebration. We held, hold it at the opening rooms each year. Um, we usually expect around 350 to 400 guests to be in attendance. And it's a great camaraderie of attendees who a lot of them know each other. They have a great time congratulating each other. Uh, they arrive, um, they're greeted with a cocktail hour and some fun things this year. We have some extra added bonus fun for everyone. Uh, we'll have a photo booth okay. and um, a silent auction with phenomenal items to choose from in the silent auction. We'll be publishing that list coming soon uh, before the event. And um, then um, everyone is seated for dinner. We have a buffet dinner. The food is delicious at the Elk Grove. And then we start to um, call up the awards. Uh, we have a little opening welcome and presentation by our sponsor, who is Eversource this year, and they'll say a few words. Uh, we welcome everyone and talk a little bit about how the evening will go. And then we start to call up the awards. Um, we we call up the folks who are in attendance. Um, you know, that's helpful. Yeah, yeah, otherwise it would be a a very um a lengthy event yeah. um which is awesome everyone everyone gets an award that is in, is in the top 3 um if you're not at the uh, awards banquet you'll um be able to pick up your award after the event i see so. and so um what if somebody wanted to uh um participate in the awards dinner so you're saying there are sponsors and there are silent auctions so I'm assuming people are donating gifts, prizes, uh, services. So can you tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. There's quite is an exclusive sponsorship, um, Eversource, and um, they get the, the banner, the billing, the billing and all that. And then we have ways for others to be involved. We usually ask for donated centerpieces and we give some acknowledgement there. Um, and we have some fabulous people also sponsoring or um, helping us with our uh, website banner, a, a business I know named Wendy's Cleaning Services, recognized <laughs> as the um, donor for the uh, banner. Uh, and that's a banner, like a photo banner that you take behind, you know, it's behind you. They call it a step and repeat banner. And when the awards are given, the winners will stand in front of that, receive their awards, have a photo op. We also have a professional photographer that comes along and similar has a recognition um, for her her donated services uh, for that evening. Lynn Duval Photography will be taking care of the uh, photographs for that, the professional, and shared after with all attendees, winners, finalists, etc. cetera. Um, and the dance company is donating the use of their photo booth, and that will be recognized as well. And then for the silent auction, anyone that donates an item, uh, we create little mini posters with, um, you know, thanking the donors of the silent auction items. And some sometimes it's an individual item and sometimes we put together a basket with other, you know, various donated items and they all get recognition there. They'll be recognized on our website when we publish the list of 
silent auction items and then after with a nice thank you. You know, one of the things that I've loved about that in the past is, um, you know, I've done the raffles and the silent auction and I've won things in the past. And then what I do is I give those things as gifts to my employees, you know, and then that's really oh, fun. So it's a great way for, you know, the advertising for the, the person who donated the, the gift, the basket or the service. And then it's a great way for somebody to enjoy it in the community. And then it's a great way for me to give to the chamber and to the, you know, the, the whole, the whole event. And then, um, and then also just, I don't know, I just feel like it just kind of makes people realize the network that, you know, we all help each other, you know, so right. and we can all enjoy each other, we can all come together and kind of celebrate in an event, and it has a trickle effect, right, because after the event is over, then people are still, uh, you know, interacting with the services that, or, you know, the businesses that participated, so, yeah. Perfect, that's it, you summed it up perfectly. And um, <laughs> we also won our 50-50 raffle that evening um, and the 100% of the proceeds of the 50-50 raffle go into our scholarship program. And we give out two scholarships at, at the end of the school year each year, each for $3,000. Um, and that money is raised through our events and our, the 50-50 raffles held at our events throughout the year um, in conjunction with our matching donor, um, Amherst label and a few sponsors that we're gathering now. Mm. And, um, but usually that's a very successful um, part of the event is raising quite a good amount of money for our scholarship programs. We give one to a trade student going into a trade program and one to a student going into a traditional college program. Mm. So it's Which a way I to- I love that so much. Uh, once that was started, it was, it's so easy to, contribute to that because you know you're contributing to two students who are working hard to make a difference for themselves and lay the path for themselves in their future and yeah. um and it like I remember at the the awards dinner that you know like nominating those kids and giving them the awards it just felt good so right. I feel like what a great way to invest in the next generation of you know people in our community exactly we we'll go on to work in some of these businesses and organizations, which is fabulous. Yeah. So now as, um, as a business, so, you know, the awards dinner is great. It's a, it's a great time of celebration. There's a lot of work that goes into it to make it happen. Uh, all hands on deck, but what are some of the like rewards for people afterwards? So what is it that, you know, what do you get out of it? You know, so the awards dinner happens, you get a, a, a plaque. Is there anything in particular that you can reflect on that you've seen that has been a really positive event due to somebody winning an award at the best of? Definitely. We, uh, let's start with um, this morning, Martha, our events and membership coordinator and I were talking. Who I about, love, I love Martha. She's awesome. <laughs> we were talking about seeing the businesses, some of the businesses sharing on their signs. Um, thank you for vote, voting us the best of our region 2024. So they'll put that up. They get excited. They share it on social media. We give them a little banner to share um, to signify that they are part of the winnings of the best of a region. And that's fun in itself to see them, the excitement build there before, during, and after um, the event. And what we've seen a couple of times is one business in particular that has shared with us that they've some years they're the winner, some years they're the finalist, a couple years they haven't been in the running at all. And, but when they have won and shared it, they get such a great feedback from their followers, from their customers coming in saying, I saw that you won the award and it builds a camaraderie of, um, with their customers that or clients, patients, et cetera, that shows that they're being recognized and it makes them feel full. I think it's, we've heard from a couple of businesses that it's built up their business and they share it almost as a little bit of an advertising. Um, they're an award-winning business in which they are. And mm -hmm. we find it to be uh, important that it's a write-in ballot because someone took the time to write their name in many times enough for them to be either a winner or a finalist and get the votes they need. Um, not a list of 
you know, check a box and I won't choose that one. They're recognized for who they are and what they do. So that's phenomenal. Yeah, you bring up a really good point because, you know, I've won many years. I won for eight years in a row and it's uh, and it's um, it's uh, like a badge of legitimacy. So going out and doing estimates, you know, I can say my company is 52 years old. I can say that we have brand equity uh, and recognition in the community, but somebody who may not know me and maybe they have other proposals that they're considering but when I say, you know, I've been best of and recognized by the community, you know, for even even just for one year, it helps them be like, oh, OK, you know, so it's not just, you know, it's not just me pitching that I'm good. It's that the community has supported that. And so and that has helped me gain business. Mm -hmm. One of the other things that I think is a really great thing to highlight um, is when somebody is a brand new winner, it's their first time winning right. is that they they now can use that and it's like i'm finally being recognized for all of my hard work and uh and you know and it kind of i feel like it uh will boost the energy of that business and then kind of give them that next push to go to the next level to build their business even further so it's definitely um it's a tool to be used you know to to collect business and, you know, support the legitimacy of your business. And then also to boost your business and help it grow further into the future, because now you're being recognized and it's not just in your mind that you're good. You know, you're being, the community is telling you they're reflecting on your hard work. So uh, yeah, it's a great tool. It's a great tool. And it's similar to a great review that you may receive on Google or, or social media or, you know, um, testimonial to your business it's um it's not it's not a popularity contest it in a sense people sometimes refer to it as that sure. it is a way for people there you know to recognize a business mm. and boost them up and give them like you said the recognition that that they deserve and they get very excited about it we made a couple of group calls this year to tell a business that they have been voted either the winner or the finalist. And we got such great reactions yeah. from some first time winners. It gets so which exciting. Was, it's such a great feeling. It's yeah. just fun, fun to share the news. It is. Yeah. You know, um, one of the things that's important too, is you were saying that you get to have that, that badge, you know, like the, you know, best of voted best of uh, right. 2024 um, we, uh, you know, in today's society with technology, the way that it is, oftentimes people are searching for, you know, um, for a contractor, a, a home service, you know, anything like they're looking for things on their phones. And so right. you have such a limited amount of time to grab potential business. And so if you have a, a badge that says best of, that says a lot right there without needing to talk about it in a paragraph. You know what I mean? Right. So just that little tiny picture registers in somebody's mind, like I should call this person. So uh, yeah, so it helps with marketing too. We have a, a small business in our, they happen to be members of the chamber as well, who tells us that every year they make new business cards with their, if they, with their new banner of, if they were a winner or a finalist. Um, so they create new business cards to share with that badge on the business card. So that's fun. That's awesome. That's, that's a smart idea. See, I, I, I wish I used my business cards more often. I, I have a whole stack of them and they sit in my drawer and I always say, I don't have a business card with me, but you know, <laughs> so that's a smart way to do it. <laughs> but so there are many other events. It's not just the best of awards. So what are some of the other things that are happening, you know, for the rest of the year? Are there any events that you'd like to share with us coming up? Absolutely. We have a um, few signature events during the drill of the year, um, the best of being one of them. Uh, in January, we host a comedy night at the Boys and Girls Club of Sohegan Valley, and we're in partnership with them there. It's a small fundraiser for the Boys and Girls Club, but they partner with us on that event, and that's fun. And this year, um, we can't announce it yet, but we have a big name comedian uh, headlining the evening, so that'll be coming out soon, and I wish I could share it now, but I can't. <laughs> stay, um, stay tuned. tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. And that's a great event. And uh, we 
you know, we did a couple times throughout the, the couple of years we've held it. We um, have a candy bar, um, we have get a liquor license and have a bar, bar there. Um, and it's a wonderful event. People can come in and out of the theater and then be seated and just have some great laughs. Mm. So um, then we have Kids Fest. We partner with the YMCA of Greater Nashua for Kids Fest. And this coming year, we're um, tweaking it a little bit so that it becomes a morphed event of they hold every year a Healthy Kids Day. And that will be paired with our Kids Fest, our Southern New Hampshire Kids Fest event, still held at their Westwood Park branch in Nashua, which is a phenomenal facility for fitness, sport, uh, dance. They have all kinds of things going on there. And um, the event, our Kids Fest, Healthy Kids Day, will include uh, some of the same, you know, fun vendors we have every year. Uh, we have food trucks and touch a truck and the YMCA shares all of their programming and there will be hands um, goings on throughout the day uh, for that. Um, the date will be April 12th, Saturday, April 12th. And um, we have lots of, like I said, lots of great vendors and activities happening throughout that event. So that's fun. And then jump down to June. And we have our annual business awards dinner. And now what that is, that is different from the best of, that is an awards um, day, awards celebration to honor our chamber members. We ask for nominations for businesses within the chamber and you have to be a member to nominate a fellow member or your own business too. You know, someone within your company can nominate you or your business and we have uh, six categories we have um, the um, small business of the year business of the year business leader of the year nonprofit of the year uh, young professional of the year and volunteer of the year and we ask for nominations and then those nominations are taken and read through carefully and there's a panel we call it a panel of excellence who helps year that helps choose those winners and then they are honored at our awards dinner which has a theme and it's a lot of fun and we hold that at the event center at hampshire hills each year and I mean, then I, uh, I love that event because everybody you know it's um it's easy in business to kind of get a little like stuffy or hoity-toity you know you have to like represent yourself in such a way right. and be professional and not that people don't present themselves well or professionally, but people, mm. it's more of like a big, uh, like a big Christmas party in my mind, you know, like imagine going and everybody has a couple of cocktails and, you know, everybody's eating hors d'oeuvres and everybody chit chats with each other. That's a very celebratory event. I, and, you know, and Hampshire Hills does such a phenomenal job with their food. Right. Um, and and their service and catering is really, really phenomenal as well. So it's a very seamless event. And of course, you know, the outside, it's beautiful when the, you know, when the weather allows and, you know, you can come in through like the grass and the lawn from the back. It's just a, a just the whole venue is a really nice setup to support a, a fun event, you know, and it's also fun to just, you know, sit with people, uh, you know, in the past I've sat, you know, with somebody who else, you know, could have won the you know best small business and then just to be friends with them and not competitive, you know? <laughs> so, um, and then, you know, you talked about the comedy show and I just wanted to say that the Amato center, that stage and that performing arts center is such a great location. It's not too small. It's not too big. Um, you know, their front entrance is like wide to receive a lot of people. So you don't feel like crowd. It's just a nice seamless way to get people into the seats and be comfortable and, but yet host like a, a wide enough audience that, you know, a lot of people can attend, you know? So, um, and I also wanted to say, you talked about Westwood Park. Uh, when I uh, had a, a YMCA membership for years, that was my go-to all the time mm -hmm. because it's so diverse. And like, you know, I have a six-year-old, so you just give him a soccer ball, you know, and he can just go kick it around on the indoor field while I'm huffing away on a treadmill and I know he's safe, you know, and I can see him. <laughs> 
definitely. And that was all that for you. So that's great. Yeah. So all of these, you know, I love that you, you know, you spread out the, you know, the, the events at different places and they're all so different, you know, so, and it, it gives them a great opportunity to highlight their businesses as well. So. Right. Right. And that's important to us that we spread that out okay. and, um, you know, also spreading it out amongst the different towns as well, as much as we can um, to include our membership in our region. Sure, sure. I know I remember a few years ago, we had an event at the Anheuser-Busch Event Center. What a great event. You know, it was so fun. I think that was the first year that Merrimack was part of the Sauhegan Valley Chamber. So it was such a great way to introduce the towns, you know, the the two chambers together and to right. collaborate. Um, yeah, so it's nice that you do that. I, I think that's amazing. You're, you know, me as a chamber member and as a small business, I, you know, I just want to make sure that you understand that I'm so grateful for your all inclusive uh, presidential um, uh, tactics to make sure that we all do stay together and everybody's honored. Uh, you do a great job, Liz. Well, thank you. It comes from a lot, of, a lot of history with both chambers merging together. And um, I was, I had just started working for the chamber when the merger celebration happened at, at the um, the beer garden, they call it, at the in House and Bush plant. And that was so much fun. And it felt, I felt the camaraderie there of everyone coming together. And, and it's been a good experience you now so far. So good. Yeah. Uh, one thing you said is that you do a volunteer of the year. And I think that's really important because volunteers are very much behind the curtain, right? Uh, they're not doing it for anything aside from uh, offering their time and energy. They're not doing it to reflect on their business, which is really nice that, you know, you do that because, uh, you know, it's important to have people who can help when, you know, there's so much to do, you know? <laughs> oh, for sure. And many of our nonprofits, uh, that's where we sort of gather our nominees. Most of the nominees come from working with our nonprofits and the nonprofits are so excited to be able to present a nomination for that award because the, the people who help them help build up their business, build up the organization and keep it running. And so it's a, it's a win-win yeah, which is always a plus. So tell right. us, so uh, you know, tell us when is the awards dinner? So that's coming up shortly here in September, right? In September, Wednesday, September twenty fifth, mm -hmm. we open the doors at five fifteen for check in and cocktail hour, and uh, probably be seated sometime around six thirty for dinner, and get the awards starting. You know, start handing them out around seven seven thirty. Uh, it goes by pretty quickly once we get started, and it's a fun, fun evening. It is a fun, fun evening. So, Liz, I always like to ask everyone, you included, even though we know that you're the president of the chamber, so you're mostly at the chamber, but where can we find you? You can find me here at the chamber. This is, of course, at 69 Route 101A Amherst. You can reach me by phone, 603-673-4360. Um, my email, which will be at the bottom of the screen, Liz Lavria, gmsvcc.org. Also, at any of our networking events that happen through the month, you usually can find myself and or Martha there as well. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time, Liz. This is wonderful. Thank and you. I look forward to the events, uh, the awards dinner coming up. Awesome. Thank you, Jan Janelle. Thank you so much. Thank so you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.